So this is a surprising topic that I really didn't see coming until, like, recently I decided, like, for, for the second time, I'm like, for the second time ever, I'm like, okay, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to watch all of Star Wars, as in the movies, right? I've only done this twice in my life, like an honest watch through. One was like years and years ago, which I did a TikTok about, and my husband ruined it. <laughs> and uh, the, this one that I, the, that I just finished. Um, partly because people have been asking me for years to do Star Wars content, and it just wasn't something that I really got into very much. One, because it's not something I really grew up on, and then another because the fandom is awful. Um... But I don't know, I'm turning 30 this year and I just like don't fucking care. But it, it got me thinking about another reason why gatekeeping is so fucking stupid, aside from the fact that it in itself is stupid and anyone that does it obviously needs to fill their time with something more fruitful or get a job or maybe take a nap or maybe get medicated. Um, <laughs> but... And I never thought about this, but there is a privilege component to fandoms sometimes. There is a privilege, there's definitely a privilege component to whether or not you were able to grow up liking certain things or being exposed to certain things or not. Um, because some of us had a lot of childhood trauma perhaps had very strict households that didn't allow us to watch certain things. Um, a lot of us, some of us didn't have money to buy comic books. Our parents didn't have money. We didn't have money to buy comic books and, and stuff like that. Like, for instance, I am a Potterhead. I'm a Harry Potter fan. I did not read or watch all the way through a Harry Potter movie until I was 20 years old because I grew up in a conservative Christian environment, literally one of those churches that had a whole fucking rack of pamphlets about how Harry Potter is the fucking devil and like literally like the work of Satan and we should never touch it, like never open it up, whatever. And the only reason I got into Harry Potter is that when I went to college, my English teacher had us read Prisoner of Azkaban and watch a little bit of the, of the movie. And that's when I got into it. And then I and and then when I finished Prisoner of Azkaban, I went all the way to the first book and I bought every single one of them and I ran the fuck through them and of course watched all the movies. And that's how I became a Harry Potter fan. Like shit, even you know, even anime like I had to sneak watch Toonami at night. I had to sneak watch Inuyasha. Um I <clears throat> My my parents didn't expose me to things like like Star Wars and Star Trek, and I think that I think actually those are some movies that I wasn't even really allowed to watch for for some reason. And even like comic books, I I I fucking I had to go to Barnes and Noble. I had to go to Barnes and Noble and go to the comic book slash manga section to read comics. That's the only way. I had access to comics. I could not buy them. I had to take what I got. And the only thing that I really, I really only had the time and energy to get into Marvel. Um, and I like, I play, I, I wore out my Spider-Man 2 DVD. Like I was just, I was super, super duper into Spider-Man because that is kind of the thing that I had the most access to because for some reason that's what my parents let me watch. And because since I was really into the comics, the few comics that I could find in Barnes and Noble, I really latched on to Spider-Man and I didn't have time to get into much more because I had to grow up very fucking quickly. I had to take care of my brother. I had to homeschool my brother. I had to deal with violence at home. I had to deal with abuse. I had to deal with all of this and, and going to school and getting good grades so that I could get the fuck out of my awful home so that I would never have to deal with that shit again. I had to make sure that I went to college because there was no college fund for me. I didn't have time to get into things because I was busy growing up way quicker than 
I should have. And I feel like there's a lot of people out there just like me who are getting into things like who are getting into things like Star Wars or Harry Potter or whatever later on in life. And honestly, I'm enjoying it. I loved this honest watch through through Star Wars because I wasn't like a super super fan and I can't call myself really a super super fan because I didn't really grow up with them um and because like I said my parents especially my fucking dad was too busy being a shithead that he didn't they didn't introduce me to they didn't introduce me to to classic shit like Star Wars and Star Trek and shit like that they didn't um and like I said, I feel like there's there's people there's more adults like me who are just finally getting into these things. And that's why I say, especially dealing with Marvel, because like that's my big, you know, of course everyone knows that's my big fandom and anime. It doesn't matter when you become a fan. It does not matter. This shit is for everybody. And it's an and like I said, this is yet another reason why gatekeeping is so shitty because you don't know the background of these people that maybe haven't been fans as long as you have. You don't know. And maybe some of us are like just getting to self-parent our inner child. Like that's what I'm doing this year. Self-parenting my inner child, giving myself a quinceanera, you know, like watching all these things that I didn't get to grow up with when I was young because I was busy surviving. And I know some people are like, I don't mind that. It's just that I hate when they act like, you know, they they know everything and they just got into it. I'm like, yeah, okay, but you know what? Like some people latch on to things very, very quickly and they develop a passion for it very quick. And then they do learn every single detail (laughs) or a whole bunch of details about that fandom, about that show, about that movie, whatever. I think I could definitely say that for me for Harry Potter. I definitely, definitely can. Um, and so, like, yeah, you just, you never, you never fucking know. And also, like, just the idea of spending so much energy policing somebody's interests is one of the dumbest fucking things that you can possibly do with your time. Instead of enjoy, instead of being happy that they're enjoying something, and 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 maybe like welcoming them into the fold, and or like being enthusiastic about showing them things, or like teaching them things. Like if when my friends get into Marvel and stuff, I am excited. I am like, let me tell you all this shit. When they get into Harry Potter and anime, I'm like, okay, let's start you off with that. That's the joy of these fandoms and shit. But you ruin it very specific fandoms some a lot of them anime and star wars is very 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 infamous for this um for doing this excessive gatekeeping and i think it is really important to remember as i am just now thinking that there is a privilege component to what you were able to be exposed to early on to become a a lifelong fan of up to this point. Very often there is a privilege component. Some of us literally didn't either, either didn't have the money or the mental capacity at the time in what was supposed to be our childhood because we were trying to survive. And so fuck me for for starting to get into Star Wars when I'm 29 years old, you know? So I just, that was just a thought that I had. And if there's any adults like that out there, for but like share your stories in the comments, comment down below, because I'm definitely one of them, like I said. And um, like I said, maybe it's because I'm older now and I just don't give a fuck about toxic gatekeepers. They're just clowns to me. And um, like I said, I am, I'm, I'm really like after doing the Star Wars watch through, like I'm, I'm, I, I really loved it, and I can see myself doing it again, and and like I'm enjoying it, and I'm especially enjoying it because I am. It's yet a, li- a small thing, but it's a little thing that I'm doing for myself that my parents or my family failed to do for me, or something that I was never able to get into and enjoy because. 
when I was 10, 11, 12 up, I was just trying to survive and, and just, just, just keep afloat. So something to think about if you are one of those literally useless fucking people that like to shame others and gatekeep. <laughs>